Sally Dock moves alongside. They both see long strides, but Sally Dock, the great form of Anthony Honeyball, continues. Three or four lengths is the gap, and Kid Commando, a double for Anthony Honeyball, hands of Aidan Coleman, wins by four lengths. What a day for Anthony Honeyball! Not one, not two, but three on course! As out in the line, Regal Encore came home to land a famous treble for the yard. They come towards the last now. First flow, a flying leap on the inside. Amula Gold delivered on the outside with a challenge, but just at the line, first flow has held on to win. Going towards the last. Can he get over it? Three, two, one. He's over. Dashiell Drasher needs the line. He's just going to last it out. And only three lengths away to Paisley Park at the last. Time Hill lands in front. As they race up to the line, Paisley Park is storming home on the far side and got him. Dashiell Drasher to the last two lengths only. Came up heroically. Dashiell Drasher racing on instinct now. Benny's King trying to get to him. But a brilliantly game win from Dashiell Drasher. And it's all first flow coming to the last and safely over. And he's seeing it out in tremendous style. And first flow wins the Clarence House. Drasher is pouring on the pressure here. Comes down to the final fence in the bet for Ascot Chase. Dashiell Drasher pulling out a bit more. Maybe he was idling. And Dashiell Drasher goes on to win the Ascot Chase. The bet for Ascot Chase goes to Dashiell Drasher.